Good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing us all the sin of the day that wasn't promised to us. I'd like to thank God for all his grace, all his mercy that kept us alive. I want to thank God for his healing that I received today. I received today. I thank God. The devil tried to have me bound down today in my bed, trying to get me from going to church today. But I pressed my way up, and I told the devil, you're going to get off of my body. You're not going to have me bound down this bed on Mother's Day. No, you're not. I, I'm not supposed to be talking about this, but I asked God to allow me, not the Holy Spirit, to use me. I'm going to tell a quick testimony because I'm going to come back on here back to another video. Okay, I went, I've been to church Friday and Saturday last week. So I went to church yesterday. And I got home about, I said about 11 o'clock. I ended up going to bed. I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning my stomach started hurting. I say, you know, I'm thinking it's like normally I probably ate something made my stomach hurt. So I went to use the bathroom. Came back and sat down. And... Lay down. I'm up again. Back on the bathroom. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's really going on? So I got my all out. I start covering my stomach up. And I start covering myself in the blood of Jesus. I said, devil, you're going to get off of me. In the name of Jesus. I said, I speak healing in my body. In Jesus' name. You gonna? I call upon God's name. I said, God, heal me. In the name of Jesus. Give me peace, Lord. Give me rest, Lord. I woke up, I say about five, six times in the morning, praying. And asking God to heal my body. The devil can't get to me. The devil can't get to us sometimes. He'll attack our body, our health. But I told the devil, you're a lie. I called my auntie about two o'clock in the morning, asked her to pray for me. Didn't know. I had somebody else praying for me in the scene with me today for prayers. And I thank God for that. But after that happened, um, I'm saying, in the morning time, I text one of my sisters of Christ and told her I wasn't coming to church. I said, I don't feel good. Then I ended up texting my other pastor in church and told him that I wasn't coming to church, but he never received the text because I know he was busy. So I... I called my sister question to her. I said, I'm not coming to church today. I said, because I'm not feeling well. I said, my stomach hurt. I've been, I've been in and out of the bathroom all night. I said, well, the devil is a liar. And she said, LaShawn, I speak right now that you are healed in Jesus' name. The devil not going to have you. And I got out of my bed. I said, devil, you're going to get off of me. You're not going to have me. The devil wanted me to be. Tied down to the bed all day to feel depressed, to feel lonely on Mother's Day, knowing I go to church every Sunday. I got up, and I told the devil, you're going to get off of me in the name of Jesus. I said, God said I am healed in Jesus' name. So you got to start speaking God's words. God gave us power to speak healing and blessings over our life. Stop letting the devil walk over you. Stop saying your head hurt when God said you are healed. Stop saying your stomach hurt when God said you are healed. You got to have power in your mouth. And have faith that you can move that stuff out your body. So after that happened, she picked me up. was in the car and she started praying for me. And I started saying, thank you, Lord, I'm healed. So I got to church, it was Sunday school, and my pastor... I told her, I said, I wasn't coming at first. But I said, but I told that devil that he going to get off my body. I told her my stomach was hurting and stuff. She started, she touched my stomach. She started praying with my stomach. And I started crying and said, thank you, Lord, for my healing. Because the devil didn't want me to go to church. The devil didn't want me to go get my blessing. But you got to tell the devil, you're going to get out of my life. You're going to get off my body. You're going to get off of my family. You got to start speaking. So I just thank God for my healing. Because I am healed. You know, I came home, laid down, had a little cramps, you know, again. But I kept on speaking. I kept on putting the oil. I'm healed. I'm hungry. <laughs> I said, Lord, just heal my stomach, Lord, so I can have something to eat in my stomach, Lord. I'm hungry. And I kept praying over my belly. And I kept praying. And I ate some food. I thank God. Then nothing happened. I'm here to tell you, God is a healer. It's power in the name of Jesus. And I cry because 
people just don't understand. God is real. Jesus is real. And God is still doing miracles and healings now. But you got to have faith in God. To move the mountains out your way. Speak to it. So I just come on here to say that quick testimony. How God healed me. And he can do the same for you. But you got to let the devil know that no weapons form against you should prosper. You speak healing. You speak blessings upon your life. And watch how God do a miracle in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. Have faith. And see how God move in your life. Be blessed. I'll be back on here and make another video. I love you all and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and the fathers as well that's taking care of their children, single fathers. Be blessed. I love you all.